What's up friends? My name is Leon and you are watching Leon Guerrero TV. I'm here in Japan. I'm here now at Tokyo Narita International Airport Terminal 2. So for this vlog, I will try to speak in English because I have international subscribers so they requested for it. I'm not an English major so forgive me if my English is sometimes grammatically incorrect but I'll try my best. First things first, I booked my SIM card through Kluk and it's 494 for 6 days and it's only 1GB data but I think it's enough as I read from the comment sections uh, it's enough for the entire trip and I need to look for the pickup counter just the easy go it's second floor of Narita Terminal 2 so I need to go to the second floor easy go counter I will show you the airport so yeah there's a Starbucks Blue Sky is like a convenience store then you can buy on the spot SIM card and Wi-Fi rental or you need to rent for the Wi-Fi and the exchange currency. Later I will exchange my currency there. There's another rental there for the Wi-Fi. Another currency exchange. And there's a tourist information center. And train is down there. There's also a shuttle bus there. If you wanted to use the pass. <laughs> I will pick up here at the second floor. It's 12.27 in the afternoon. And that's the easy go counter. You can claim your look and KKD SIM card there it's beside the drop box right. so there's a lounge if you wanted to use the internet lounge so, so I'll claim now there's a line over there Got the SIM card from there, and they gave me this one. Plus the instruction on how to use or activate my SIM card. I just showed them my Kluk voucher, which is from here. Yeah, this one. I will try now. So I've got my SIM card. SIM card here is unlike other SIM cards from other countries. Like it's, you just put the SIM card in your cell phone, then automatically activate and you can automatically use the internet. But unlike here, uh, you have to download their profiles, then there's an instructions. It, uh, make sure that your cell phone is open line. But it takes a while before it, it becomes successful in my case. But now, it's working properly. So the next thing that I will do is to exchange my money to their local currency which is Japanese Yen. So um, there's a money exchange in the second floor and here also at the ground floor. So I'm still canvassing which one has the highest exchange rate. 
for peso or for dollars because I have pesos and I have I have US dollars and I have Philippine pesos. So I exchanged my dollars to Japanese yen. This is the Japanese yen. So I think the Philippine peso here is a little low when it comes to exchange rate. So you have if you have dollars, exchange it and not the peso. I exchanged it here at the second floor. It's higher here. It's the exchange rate is good here in the second floor. It's in the the Chiba Bank. Better exchange for US dollars than the Philippine pesos. And like in the other countries, pesos is good. Almost the same as the US dollars when exchanged it to their local currency. But here in Japan, the difference is big. So better exchange your dollars. Or if you have in the Philippines, if you can exchange Japanese yen in the Philippines, and it's better to exchange it there. So my next thing to do is to load my Suvika card. The Suvika card is like the BIP card in the Philippines or in other countries like you can use it for the bus and the bus terminal, train, and to buy food in the supermarket or 7-Eleven. You can use it. I did not buy my my Suica card. I just borrowed it from my niece, and I will just uh, I will just look for a loading station for that card but right. I'll, I'll ask the information center here at the ground floor that's the information center that's the information center there so the loading station is in the lower ground for the Suvika card next thing I will do is to ride a bus going to Tokyo which is I don't want to ride the train because uh, it's more convenient for me to ride in a bus and I'm not in a hurry anyway so if you're not in a hurry and you wanted to be comfort comfortable you just ride a bus and it's a little cheaper it's 1,000 yen where's the Suvika? JR station JR station only loading loading only I have a card, but I need oh, to load. Oh, oh, same. Same. Oh, the I got a. So there is the loading station. So it's in the lower ground. And lower ground, you just go outside. Just go outside. And look for the Suvika. This is the loading station, Suvika. This is the machine. So I already loaded my Suvika card, the IC card. And now I loaded 5,000 because uh, I put more money on this because, you know, because this can be used this can be used to a lot of uh, purchases. I need to go back to the ground floor for the bus. The final thing to do is to look for the bus station, which is right side before the Starbucks. That's the Starbucks. The information center told me that I should go right before the Starbucks. So that's the Starbucks. Starbucks. And this is the exit. I'll check where can I buy bus ticket. As per the information center, the bus is halfway every 20 minutes. That's it. 18 and that's 90 
again. Konnichiwa. I need to go to Tokyo Station. Where can I buy tickets? Uh, no, I cash. Cash. Or can I use this one? Can I use this speaker? Arigato. That's the Keisei bus. Going to Tokyo. And from Tokyo, I will ride again the train or maybe bus also going to to my accommodation. You can use the Suica card or you can buy tickets there from the driver. It's 1000 yen. Entering the bus. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Here inside the bus. This is outside the airport. I think that's it for the Narita International Airport guide vlog. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to be awesome. Don't hit much. Peace out.